What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my man No Newbert's account. We got 70,000 gems ready to roll for Hero Collector. We also have some events to do today as well. So as far as Hero Collector today on iOS, it's honestly pretty good. I mean, if you get Serena, not only do you get the scraps, you also get the 100 Mastery Essences, which is always nice to have. Especially if you're not a heavy pay-to-play account. I mean, as you guys know, 100 Mastery Essences at this point is a guaranteed at least 4 10 of 10 heroes. Lazulix has really good rewards as well with the two level 9 talent runes, also the 100 books and the 200 igniting stones, which is very nice. Now, the only heroes he even needs on this account is Lazulix because he doesn't have him. As far as backups, he needs Commodora and Ashura. So, we're going to be looking for Lazulix. We also need Serena and Rowdy would be okay for the extra pet bags, plus also the prime bag fours and the scraps. And of course, we're definitely going to get the 15 gelatinous champions because we're going to be rolling 70,000 total gems. Now, I wanted to do a quick alter rundown and see what all my man's got. we got to go ahead and click on the talent now so we can see both talents on heroes. Just because I'm curious to see selection like brute force on a golem. Seems absolutely useless in my opinion anyway. Probably should go ahead and switch that to sacred light because sacred light is definitely beast on golem. No doubt about that. Level 7 revitalize on Medusa. That is very nice. Flame Guard on Gunslinger. That's not too bad. Sacred Light's a very good talent for both Walla Walla and Skelly. Not bad, my good friend. This account is looking very nice. I wonder how he likes that 8 Flame Guard on Storm Eater. That's a hero I haven't tested out with Flame Guard. I don't really know how much I would like Flame Guard on my Storm, but probably not the worst talent, that's for sure. Has a level 9 Sacred Light on Levanica. That's not too bad. We also got level 8 Vital Boon on Ashura and Bulwark on Rowdy. Not bad. This looks like a very good altar, my friend. Went with War God on Commodora. That is a risky move considering Commodora is pretty fragile, to be honest with you. We got 8 Revitalize on Minnow. That is very nice as well. Pretty much perfect talents all the way up and down. I'm excited for this rolling session, baby. It's time to snatch the goods. I haven't really done that many rolling sessions lately, and I'm excited to go ahead and pull out my man Lazoo. We also have some Levanica Soul Stones to open. Let's open up. We'll open up one at a time. I mean, I'm going to do 10 at a time, but we have 12 total. So I'm going to open up two at a time whenever we uh, pull in a cold start. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Where is his altar at? I'm like blind. Oh, there it is right there, hidden by a theme. Come on, Lazu, show up. Give me the first legend making Lazu. It's going to be Candy Cane from a 150. We also got a Druid. We got Warlock and Santa Boom. We are going to be stopping if we get Lazu as well. We got Thunder God in the house. Come on. We need Lazu. We need Commodore. We also need Asuras. Serena, baby. That ain't a bad start. We'll go ahead and take Serena for the goods right there. Thank you very much. Let's keep on rolling. It's Lazu time, boys. Lazu, come on. Greens, that is a bad. All right, Pumpkin Duke, let's go ahead and open up those two Levanica bags. That'd be pretty sick if we get 100 from one of these two. I do want to open up 10 at the same time, though, so we can only open up two here. We got 20. That's not too bad. And one more for 100. 15 and 20. That's honestly not that bad. I mean, there's been times where I've opened up 10 of these and ended up with like 110 Soul Stones or 105 Soul Stones, I remember. It was bad. All right, come on. We need to see Lazu now, baby. Lazu, where you at, my friend? Greens, blues, no legends. We got a Michael in the house. Come on, we need better than Michael. We got another little Nick. Quite a few gelatinous champions. We need to see Lazu, though. We got Revenant. Lazu and Rowdy. Come on, Rowdy Rascals. Lazu. Heartbreaker and a Mortep. We also got Storm Eater. Pretty solid session so far. We got Phantom King. We need to see Lazu, though, baby. We got Beast Tamer, another Pumpkin Duke. Right, let's close out and come back in for Lazu. Come on, Lazu. No Lazu anywhere to be found. After the next legend, I'm switching it up. I feel like we're on a pretty cold streak. All right, Pumpkin Duke and Trintar. Let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. How many gelatinous champions do we got? We got 14, so we're definitely coming through and snatching those up. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, Smash and Wins. I did want to give a shout-out to his guild as well. I need to remember to do that because they got a couple of spots available, and they are a very competitive guild. If anybody out there does need a guild. Size Shield 5, that's not too bad. Another Serena card. Talent refresh, that's pretty useless. Give me a Levanica one time. Come on. 
Castle Chest 2, that's not bad from this. Ice Shield 5, Castle Chest 1, and I Minting Stone. All right, let me give them a quick guild shout out. We got Crew of Anubis and five slots open. So if anybody out there with pretty high might, I think it's like 150,000, let's see, 150,000 might or more you can apply to this guild. Crew of Anubis, you can go ahead and send them a message online at yes, indeed. <laughs> nice. All right, baby. We need to see Lazulix. Come on, Lazo. We got another Lil Nick in that far left corner, too. Come on, give me a Lazo in that far left corner. That's the final gelatinous champion. Let's go ahead and collect this. All right, we need to see Lazo, baby. Come on. It's one of the it's like the it's the only hero missing on this account. We need to see him. Like right meow. Come on. Trentar. No thank you with the tree there. Come on, Lazulix. A druid? Everybody wants a freaking Shard Legend Druid. What do we got here? Champion, two Shard Legends, Champion and Phantom King, and... Wow, that is a really cold streak. Let's go ahead and open up all ten of those bags, I'm thinking, because we got to change it up. That was, like, miserable. That was, like, six Shard Legends in a row. Let's go ahead and open up these ten bags, and actually, let's switch it all the way up and open up these, too. Whatever we got in all this, that is some decent stuff. Probably doesn't need too much of it on this account. We're going to get a Empower. Nope, 20 of those. Did that just change from 10 to 20? I feel like I saw that. I almost sold this guy's level 3 prime box. That would have been bad because this isn't my account. So let's see here. 10 Levanica bags. I'm guessing, I'm going to go ahead and make a guess of 185. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with 185 out of these 10 bags. 185, but I'm hoping above 200. 185 is my guess though. 120? Yo, that is terrible. Wow, is that bad. 120, huh? At least he can get a backup Levanica. That's pretty cool, at least. And he can. He didn't have the scraps for Serena, so now he's got backup Serena as well, which is definitely nice. All right, not bad. We'll take that. All right, we got 30 or 25,000 gems left. He wants me to save 10,000. And we need to see Lazu. Come on, baby. Lazu, where you at, my friend? We got a pal. Whoa, triple legend action. But it is terrible. Valentina, Succubus, and Phantom King. Man, the Shard Legends are real right now. We got Revenant. That's all right. We're about to see Lazu. I feel him coming. Come on. Lazu, show up, my friend. Santa Boom and Dove Keeper. Walla Walla. Wow, we are seeing some strong freaking legends. We got 16,000 gems left. Come on, Lazu, baby. Lazu. Beast Tamer. No thank you with Beast Tamer. Come on, Lazu. Show up. Death Knight, two more gelatinous champions. We got Revenant and Beast Tamer. We need to see Lazu, boys. Come on. Right here at the end. Can we clutch up or what? 8,000 gems left. We got another Santa Boom. Ares. Man, what can we do to change it up? Anything? We, we got no Lazu, no Rowdy Rascals. He told me not to do the discount store, so we're not even going to touch that. If you are free to play, make sure you guys do not forget it because, like you see right here, you can get War Guide for freaking 1,500 gems, especially if you get 50% off. Imagine 90% off is free to play. You get War Guide with, what, like 300 gems? That's insane. I am looking forward to actually getting that eventually on my free to play. My free to play got shafted today. Otherwise, I'd be making a video on it. All right, we got 6,000 gems left. Come on. Lazo right here at the end, brother. No love at all. No legends. Come on. Exit out. Come back in for the Lazu. Come on. Trentar. Terrible. Beast Tamer. All right. Two more 450s. Nothing and Trentar to end it. Feels bad, man. All right. Well, got absolutely hosed there at the end. No Lazu. Didn't even get him any of the backups that he needed, which is pretty sad. We do have Point Arcade to end it with, just in case anybody does want to watch it. I was really hoping to pull off a Lazu for this account, no doubt about it. Maybe we can land on a Skelly. Come on, land on Skelly one time. Or actually, Skelly probably wouldn't even be the best thing. I guess those level 5 talent chester. Prime Hero card 1, that is absolutely awful. Come on, down low. Skull Knight card, what else do we got coming? Fine Crescent Pack of Vital Boon, we'll take that. And Fine Crescent Pack of Zealous Drive. Now nah, I knew it was coming. I felt it. I felt it. All right, now I'll let him exchange for whatever he wants out of that. So, yeah, that pretty much does it, guys. I uh, hope all you guys did enjoy the video. It wasn't really the most successful rolling session ever, just specifically because we could not pull off Lazu, but at least it wasn't the worst rolling session ever. I mean, at least we did get Serena for the extra 100 Mastery Essences, plus some other goods as well. Now, he did say he had a level 9 talent I could play somewhere, where should we place his level 9 talent? 
I mean, Skelly's an option. Walla Walla is probably the best option because he only has one Walla. And in my opinion, it's real important to keep Walla alive, especially compared to pretty much anything else that he has. And it's not like he really has a Walla Walla to choose from, whether it's a Flame Guard Walla or a Sacred Light Walla. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick his Sacred Light Walla to level up to 9 of 9. And that is going to wrap up the video for now. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully we can snatch up Lazu in the next rolling session. No doubt about, no doubt about it. But for now, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.